इतना करेक्टली कभी नहीं स्टार्ट या हिमांशु प्रकाश या यस सर सर समन वाज गिविंग हर इंटरव्यू सो आई हैड लेफ्ट द मीटिंग टू मेंटेन द प्राइवेसी ओ अच्छा अच्छा हम्म या अच्छा अच्छा फर्स्ट यू केम था अच्छा अच्छा गुड यस सर वेरी गुड नाउ हिमांशु प्रकाश वन मिनट लेट मी गो फॉर दैट आई हैव दैट लीगल ऑफिसर्स क्वेश्चन what what is your first five number of your cell phone sir 97117 97197 ah correct correct sir you have mentioned yes uh, i know, yes, I, know. Sir, this one. i know that but uh, immediately yaad nahi aata hai abhi isme dekh liya just a minute mm. bank promotion law officer interview yeah excuse me your interview is going to be on which date sir on 30th of june in which place on which date sir and one of you pay to do the services very good now um, can you please tell me about yourself but aapka awaaz thoda utna clarity nahi aata hai are you using sir, ear, earphone use karte hain yes sir i am using earphone thoda nikal, thoda nikal ke baat karke dekhiye kaise chalta hai okay sir because uh, hello sir is, now am i audible now it is good now it is good are you able to hear me better now very good very good okay sir you are able to hear me yes sir very good now can you please tell us about yourself aap hindi mein bolne se bhi theek hai angrezi mein bolne se bhi theek hai jaise aapko suvidha aisa bol dijiye theek hai sir theek hai sir my name is but aapko interview call letter mein kya bola the Interview will be in English and Hindi or English only. So it is. It is not mentioned there. I think okay. they will accept all both Hindi and English. Yeah. Up. Jaise bhi chahiye, ab bol dijiye. Please tell me oh. about yourself. Sir, oh. first of all, thank you for giving me this of this opportunity. My name is Himachu Prakash. I am from Hapur district of Uttar Pradesh. I have done my B.Sc. from Ramdas College, University of Delhi. then i did my law from university of delhi after that i enrolled myself in nlm course that was a distance education program and after doing nlm i am continuously preparing for judiciary and other legal service exams in my journey i have given four mains examinations of judiciary and it is my second interview of any services ye point bolne ka zarurat hai interview wala sir नो नो ये पॉइंट जरूरत नहीं ना व्हाई डू यू हैव टू टेल हमने चार एग्जाम लिख दिया ये सब बोलने का जरूरत नहीं आई अनलेस दे अनलेस दे आस्क यू ओके सर देन आई विल एंड इट दैट आई हैव आई डिड माय एनएनएम फ्रॉम कुरुक्षेत्र यूनिवर्सिटी हम्म व्हाट व्हाट इज द व्हाट आर द डिग्रीज यू स्टडी टेल मी सर आई स्टडीड बीएससी ओके देन आई डिड एनएनबी फ्रॉम फैकल्टी फैकल्टी ऑफ नो यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली okay then i did masters in law that is nlm from oh. kurukshetra university haryana super yamalam which year did you complete it sir i completed nlm in 2018 and nlm in 2020 acha after that what you have been doing sir i am preparing for judicial services examinations ah this is how you have to tell that you will okay, tell sir. like that you are doing judicial 
acha acha good so that means um, did you enroll yourself as a member of bar yes sir i have enrolled myself in 2018 itself acha you are a member of a bar also but you don't have any practical experience in handling sir, I cases i joined for 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 a short span of time but my interest was in services so i left the board and i i believe that we should do one thing at a time so but, i am only but prepared. but don't you feel as a lawyer practical experience hona zaruri hai sir it is important but if i am doing practice practice it is very hectic schedule and i want to be able to prepare for judicial service examinations and other examinations okay that's right what is part 3 and 4 of indian constitution sir part 3 talks about fundamental rights and part 4 of constitution talks about directive principles fundamental rights are basic human human rights which are given to every citizen of uh, of india and directive principle is a object of our constitution which we which we aim to achieve following the fundamental rights fundamental right is a path to achieve directive principle and the what motive you, of directive yes sir what do you know about pm kisan samman nidhi pm kisan samman nidhi ha uh. sir sir i sir sorry i have no idea about this scheme this is a scheme under which government is giving rupees 2000 every 4 months to the farmers sir, so it is pm kisan samman nidhi ha ah, that's what i said pm kisan sir, samman nidhi okay sir i knew this scheme but i got confused with the name it please is a tell, scheme of please, please tell me about that and so it is a scheme of central government to directly transfer an amount of 6000 in installment of 2000 to in the account of farmers to help them hmm acha what is the condition for paying this who are pay, who are the eligible people for this so the some more state farmers i exactly don't know the so marginal factors. farmers and small 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 farmers yes, are eligible so my ek doubt hai abhi you are from delhi yes sir delhi may be government is giving any extra benefit to the farmers उधर में फार्मिंग होता है ना नहीं होता है सर फार्मर्स होता है लेकिन बहुत कम मात्रा में आएगा अच्छा ओ इज द गवर्नमेंट गिविंग सम एक्स्ट्रा प्रिविलेजेस टू फार्मर्स बिकॉज़ इन ऑल अदर स्टेट्स देयर गवर्नमेंट्स आर गिविंग सेपरेट बेनिफिट टू फार्मर्स लाइक अ स्टेट लाइक तेलंगाना और सो और आंध्र प्रदेश they give some 10000 rupees more also one minute okay, let me sir, check up sir. new delhi government schemes for farmers um it is only telling about pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana farmers welfare schemes government again ah yeah so i think uh, there is no clear answer about this doesn't matter yes sir sir um, so there are very less farmers in delhi only very few farmers na i think yes sir but abhi when i go through the pages i find uh, delhi government is asking permission from farmers to set up solar power plant in that place okay sir across nine villages in the north western peripheries for setting up of solar power plant that's what is given okay tell me what is pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana sir pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana is a central government central government scheme sir it was started in 2016 it is a centrally sponsored scheme sorry it in, it includes the insurance of the crops and so it is 
this issue is came was uh, came in 2016 after uh, substituting national insurance scheme of, of agriculture and modified agriculture insurance scheme sir in this scheme government provides the insurance for crops and uh, there there is a different premium for every crop for ravi crop 1.5% premium will be taken by farmer and uh, remaining will be taken by central government and state government combinedly and in uh, kharif crop farmers will pay only 2% of premium and uh, in horticulture crop of farmers will pay 5% of premium it is a bit different from earlier scheme because it is available for non farmers and non non farmers and it is a scheme for pre harvesting and post harvesting both both the conditions do you know about the other um, what is this one bangla shashya bima scheme what is that sir i think it is bangla shashya bima sir i think it is a scheme for west bengal or something what is potato crop insurance sir i haven't studied no no just tell me at least the name of other crop insurance products sir one scheme is weather based insurance scheme which is specifically made for the for the different conditions of weather and there are different schemes for different I, crops no, i think you are not uh, you are not studied this i am showing it to you sir yes sir agriculture part i have not did thoroughly yeah i am focusing on law i know i know but kabhi kabhi ye bhi puchega aapko yes sir but uh, yeah, isko bhi thoda dekh ke rakh lijiye at least the names you must know theek hai sir main isko dekh lunga thoda right who is the person in charge in agricultural insurance corporation of india sir managing director director is miss grija subramanian good how many officers are there in agricultural insurance company of india how many officers sir, there are Mm. there are 18 offices in india including regional offices and mm. the head office is situated in new delhi mm -hmm. good excellent now what will you do in agriculture insurance if you are taken in as a you are joining as manager or as officer sir legal training legal, legal training. training yeah yes sir as a doctor. so what do you sir, think I what do you think you may be expected to do sir i think my main my main work will be making agreement for insurances and uh, sorting the claims of the any claim which farmer makes if there is any legal dispute in it mm -hmm. and to make agreement between government and farmers good can you tell me what is right to information the right to information act was enacted in 2005 it is an act in which a, in which any member of public may ask any information from public offices if any person ask in written for information of any public offices then the government have to reply within 30 days of making the application can you tell me what is meant by whistle blower policy sir bisar bisar crore policy sir bisar crore is a person who makes public any information of any discrepancy in any organization hmm. sir and so I what is the relevant what is the relevance for agriculture insurance company and whistle blower policy sir i is, have no idea about bisar crore policy इसके बारे में दिया है आपको वेबसाइट में दिया है ये क्या दिया पढ़ लीजिए रेगुलेटरी कंप्लाइंसेस टू बी डन सर आई हैव स्टडीड दिस regulatory compliances stewardship compliances public disclosures 
valuation of equity policy holders unclaimed amount that's what they say okay 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 sir sir what i do, read the website yeah. thoroughly what do you understand by csr sir csr hmm. sir uh, uh, sir csr is a policy in which the, every organization have to do something for society a portion of pro of their profit they have to spend on on the schemes for society the for form of csr are corporates hmm society regulations hmm corporate society responsibilities hmm so they have to spend a part of their profit on no, the work of society no no but you are not coming out with the percentage they have to spend 2% of their profit uska details pad lijiye go to wikipedia and get to know about it okay okay sir then next point is what are the csr uh, projects done by our agricultural insurance sir i will see this you you have to read that also i told you now before coming you please go through see i mean agriculture insurance humne bataya tha aapko koi baat nahi yes No sir, I read this thoroughly tomorrow. Yeah. Then mm. I thought my main domain is legal, so they will ask the questions from legal. Legal read. Not necessarily legal, but these are all connected to legal. But right, say uh, right to information, CSR, these sub all are related to legal also. If you want, you can relate it. If you want, you don't. You need not relate it. It depends. Okay, sir. I I do it. I definitely do it. Yeah. Um. What is the difference between LIC and AIC? Sir, LIC is a life insurance corporation. They made insurances for for the life of people for their any contingency if they face in if they face. The these insurance includes the insurance for life. Example for insurance of life, AIC has been made in two thousand two specifically for insurance of agricultural field. Mm -hmm. Earlier, the agriculture insurance was also done by AIC, but AIC have been have been separately made specifically for agriculture and crops. You know what did you say earlier? So earlier, the insurance of uh, agriculture. Was made by government under different schemes. Yeah. Life, yeah. Good, good. Life insurance corporation that, also had to share. That's really fine. That's really fine. Good. Can you tell some points regarding law of limitation? The law of limitation basically deals with the time period in which a person can make a suit in court of law for any damages or compensation. It is applied to civil suits and not applicable to criminal suits. Good. Now, why there is a need for legal officers for agriculture insurance company? Why there is need? So, as insurance insurance involves many technicalities, which is related to law. They have to make legal agreements and different contracts to make insurances. so it becomes important for a, for every company company to have a legal officer to make the agreements to make contract and to solve any dispute if it comes between the farmers um, that is claimant or and the company and to solve these disputes and to represent the company if there arises any dispute in court of law good can you tell me who is the governor of reserve bank of india sir governor of reserve bank of india, india is mr shanti 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 kuntas shakti kant das no no shakti kant das shakti kant das yeah can you tell the name of a new deputy governor of rbi who has been appointed recently 3 4 days yes, back yes sir he is a former director of sbi bank and his name is uh, sir i am not able to 
recall his name. Swami Swami Nathan Janaki Raman. Yes, Swami Nathan Janaki Raman. Janaki Raman. Yes, Swami Nathan Janaki Raman. What is Sebi? Sir Sebi, Sir Sebi has been formed in 1992. Its form is Security and Exchange Board of India. It is basically formed to regulate the rules and the regulations relating to the stock market and other companies. Hmm. Stock market, yeah. Who is the chairman of uh, SEBI now? No idea. Sir, Ma no Mrs. idea. Ma Mrs. Madhabi Puri Booch. Mr. Mrs. Madhabi Puri Booch. Okay, sir. Mrs. Madhavi Puri. Who is the Chief Justice of India? Sir, Chief, sir, 50th Chief Justice of India is Dr. D.Y. Chandrachur. Who is the Minister in Charge of Law Department? Sir, Minister in Charge of Law Department has been recently. Sir, Minister of, okay, sir, sorry. Shri Meghwan is from Rajasthan. Shri Ramakar Meghwan. Union Minister, I'm asking about Union Minister. Yes, sir, you Union Minister, recently he has been changed. Earlier, he was currently Deju. But last month, Union Law Minister has been changed. He is Mr. Sri Ram of Tarme Egbar. Oh, new person has come. Achha, achha. Good. Very it good. It is Ram of Tarme Egbar? No, no I, I have not seen that. Ha, ha. Arjun Ram of Egbar. Arjun, Arjun Ram Arjun Ram Egbar. Yeah. yeah. Arjun Ram Egbar. Can you please tell me who is the Attorney General of India. Sir, Attorney General of India. Solicitor Mukund General. Ha, pardon, pardon. Mukun Rothangi. Acha. Who is sir, no, sir, Attorney General of India has been recently changed. His name is Shri Venkata Raman. Shri R. Venkata Raman. Hmm. R. Venkata Ramani. R. Ramani. Or Venkata Ramani. Yes, sir. Then who is the Solicitor General? Sir, Solicitor General is Mukundra Tungi. Very good. Achaji, um, now what are the recent decisions of Supreme Court? Important decisions of Supreme Court? Sir, there Court? are many important decisions. Sir, I would say first on topmost, it would be 103rd Amendment that hmm. talks about AWS reservation. Mm. It was passed in 2019, giving 10% mm. exclusively reservation for general category who mm. belongs for, from poor, 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 poor category. Mm. Apart, its constitutionality has been held in the case of uh, Janabian, uh, Janabian versus Union of India. Mm. And so apart from it, there is a case in which the Supreme Court has given rights to sex workers. The mm. rights include to make their Aadhaar card and on the right which a human being deserves. Mm. Apart from this, uh, recently Supreme Court has, High Court of Delhi has given decision on marital rape. They have a, a split verdict. One, chief, one, judge, one of the judges said it is uh, valid and the other judge uh, had it unconstitutional. Mm. There are many cases, sir. One case is related to hijab and one case is, case is related to pox swag in which skin to skin skin to skin touch has been discussed. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what do you know about DRT? Sir, DRT is depth depth Regulatory tribunal. Debt, it has recover, been made by debt recovery tribunal. Debt recovery tribunal. It has been made by a central government exclusively for debt recovery. If mm. any person is aggrieved by the act of any organization, any bank or any financial institution, he may approach to the tribunal mm. for enforcement of its, its rights. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you tell me what is the difference between fixed charge and floating charge? 
the fixture charge and floating charge. Mm. Fixer and floating charge. What happened? It's a uh, it's a common topic, no? Yes, sir. I'm not able to record it. Fixer and floating. A fixer charge is a specific and identifiable asset or property, while a floating charge is a general and unspecified asset or property. That is, okay. um, the stocks in the shop are hypothecated, so then it becomes a, a floating charge. Floating. Because okay, today it may be 100 lakhs, tomorrow it may be 200 lakhs. Yes. Yes, Whereas sir, fixed sir, charge is one which is over assets, that is fixed assets. Okay, sir. Fixed charges related to physical identifiable assets, where floating charge are flexible and apply to business that assets. As well. Charge is specific and they are given, given at a specific time. Its value is specific. And the floating charge value is not specific. It may change according to the time. A like fixed, a fixed asset, a fixed asset um, cannot cannot be sold or disposed no. of without the lender's authorization. Whereas no, no. floating charge can be changed until they are crystallized as fixed. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Tell me about your strengths and weakness. Sir, if I talk about my strength, I am, first of all, I am hardworking. I have patience. I have good decision-making power. And uh, I can do all my, all my tasks at work, at time, and uh, completely. If I talk about my negatives, then I think I am an overthinker. I tend to think Think very deep of everything. Tell me something about mercy killing case. Mercy killing case. Hmm. Sir, I don't think recently there has been any mercy killing case in India. Yeah, it, 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 they have asked in one interview. What do you think about Supreme Court judgment on this? Sir, mercy killing, it is related to euthanasia. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So, Supreme Court recently gave guidelines for euthanasia. Active euthanasia is not allowed in India, but passive euthanasia is now allowed in India. Passive euthanasia means to not to give any medicine to a patient through which he is living if the condition is uh, such that the patient cannot be regained to his life. And active euthanasia means to give him certain medicines to end his life. Active euthanasia is not allowed in India, but it is valid in some parts of the world. Passive euthanasia has been recognized in India recently, in which we do not give any life-saving medicine to the patient. We leave him on the grace of God. Correct. Good. Very good, very good. Next. Huh? Next question. Yes, sir. What is the stamp duty for rental agreement? The stamp duty of rental agreement. Sir, I don't know as I haven't practiced in court of law. So it is a what, process what, of calculating. What, what is the court fees for filing of suits in high court? And so it depends upon the amount of the suit. No, what, is the is a, what is the percentage? Please, as a lawyer, you must know all these things. Yes, sir, but uh, I haven't worked as a lawyer, so... No, you go to your lawyer's office, talk to them for one hour, you can get all these ideas. Okay, sir, I, I read about this. You, you, you don't have to go to your lawyer also. Catch hold of a... Uh, a I'm fine. Google it. A lawyer's clerk. Lawyer's clerk or typist ko pooch lijiye, wo bata dega aapko. 
ठीक है सर ठीक है मैं करता हूँ ये काम Why rental agreements are made for eleven months? Hmm. Sorry, because sir, have... because yes, sir. twelve months and above it has to be registered. Okay, sir. ये तो आपको जानना जरूरी है. You are a lawyer. Yes, sir. Yes. What is the difference between arbitration and conciliation? उटेशन एग्रीमेंट हेलो हेलो मैं लाइव ऑडिबल नहीं है अभी बात कर लीजिए आई वाज आस्किंग अबाउट ऑर्बिट्रेशन एंड यस सर सर ऑर्बिट्रेशन एंड कंसिलेशन आर आर पार्ट्स ऑफ ऑर्डिनेट डिस्प्यूट रेजोल्यूशन दिस ऑर्डिनेट डिस्प्यूट रेजोल्यूशन इज यूज्ड इन सिविल केसेस इन दे दे आर द मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग एनी प्रॉब्लम एमिकेबली If we talk about arbitration, and an arbitrator is appointed by the court of law, and arbitration agreement can be made before the dispute has arisen or after the dispute has arisen. It means it is it can be pre pre dispute agreement. And if we talk about conciliation, conciliation process is used after the dispute has arisen, and the parties sit against in a, together and they solve the dispute amicably. Mm. not bad uh, you can go to google and search like this you will get lot of questions like this yes, for example sir. what is arbitration best for what is the purpose of conciliation what type causes use of conciliation what kind of disputes be settled through conciliation what happens when conciliation fails like that it comes you can read them all okay yes okay sir. and now last question for you uh, one minute tell me about the latest constitutional amendments sir latest constitutional amendment is 103 which is the most uh, most disputed agreement constitution oh. amendment apart from it uh, constitution amendment 105 and 104 104 constitution amendment uh, gave uh, reservation to scs and sts in uh, parliament and uh, constituent assemblies and 105 fifth uh, uh, amendment gave state power to implement uh, to decide whether a community is in obc or not to state governments Okay. and if we talk about one and the third amendment it is a amendment related to ews reservation which includes which states 10% reservation for economically weaker sections very good thank you thank you so much best wishes thank you so much sir uh, please read widely including newspaper and uh, about re recent decisions of courts also check up whether there are any cases with agriculture insurance being involved uh, that company being involved a sab dekh lijiye go as a confident yes, person you can do very well best wishes sir law part to mera theek hai na you know you are answering well but kabhi kabhi some points are not known to you uh, because, uh, of course um, the area of questions is vast they can ask from negotiable instruments act to labor act to this act that act everything they can ask okay yes sir then about agricultural insurance corporation of india also they can ask who is the owner of agricultural insurance is the share okay. quoted in stock exchange likewise some questions can be asked you please prepare for them you are doing very well 
but only thing is um, there are some when it comes to practice you are presenting a very sorry figure kuch bhi nahi bolte hain but uh, maybe they have not asked for any practice na in the advertisement no 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 sir very good then you can compensate by your legal knowledge okay yes sir but so that, I, have, i haven't mentioned in biodata that i have any experience yeah legal knowledge mein apne kya karna hai these things are routine agreement 11 months 12 months e to even a non law graduate like me will know about it and okay, also sir. also other stamp duties wagera ये तो आपको पता होना है नाउ दे कैन आस्क यू व्हाट इज द रजिस्ट्रेशन चार्जेस फॉर प्रॉपर्टीज इन दिल्ली यू कैन टेल मी आई डोंट नो यस सर यू कैन नॉट जस्ट टेल आई डोंट नो यस सर यस सर एंड दे विल आस्क यू आप अबाउ व्हिच अमाउंट इज इनकम टैक्स टू बी डिटेक्टेड इन द केस ऑफ रेंट यू कैन से आई डोंट नो 20000 रुपीस so likewise okay. 20000 per month whatever it is a sab ko prepare kar dijiye theek hai sir main prepare karta hu sir best wishes sir, god mera judiciary ka field hai to mera criminal law wagera zyada padhna hota hai zyada you have judiciary mein kuch nahi hoga well, that is only 40% 60% will be your personality your family your education then about uh, common law like that okay okay and sir. and about agriculture insurance and yes, I, I all, also you must go through about irda i also thoroughly you must go through about regulatory bodies a reserve bank of india then irda uh, irda i then um, what is the other one sebi a sab ko padhna hai ji okay sir okay pura 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 at least you know what is where is their headquarters what are the who is the important person what are their functions that will do okay sir okay sir Best but do wishes. i need one more interview or it is sufficient i don't know i leave it to you if you if you are if you are not unhappy over the, after this interview you can come again for another interview by paying 200 rupees but it depends okay, it depends on candidates you know some candidate they feel mm, there is need some feel there is no need it depends uh, because i cannot specify the area of question they are going to ask yes sir it can be anything right from what it may be similar to what i have asked or it yes, may sir. not be totally relevant to what i have asked it depends yes yes sir it depends WhatsApp you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Ab no problem. Oh, oh. No compulsion. Um, yes, but yes, sir. Ab, only thing is, oh, you have been reading only acts, sir. But I am telling yes, you to look at it the way acts are implemented. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thoda separately padli. Ji, sir. Bye. Best wishes. Okay, bye. I wish you Thank success. You. i wish you success and after interview if possible please send the questions to me yes sir i send you the questions that will help me in future classes thank you yes sir i i in whatsapp you thank you sir thank you